Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today, I want to continue to talk about the integration by parts because I actually had stopped some time ago and then I didn't finish this few problems that I wanted to do. So I'm going to continue with the integration by parts. And this time we are going to use the tabular method to uh, integrate this function. This is a product of the exponential function and a trick function. So that's the e to the negative 2x. And the, uh, the trick function is the sine of 3x. Okay, so uh, for this one, um, <clears throat> when we pick the u and the dv for doing the integration by parts, we are actually going to uh, run into a loop when you are doing the problem. And so in this case, we actually are going to be doing the integration by parts twice. And then from there, then we actually need to, uh, we are going to get back to the original integral. And so from there, we are going to uh, be solving for that integral. Um, if you haven't seen this before, you probably don't know what actually was going on when I was talking about doing it twice and going in the loop, but then you will actually see it as we're doing the problem. So let's get started. So we are going to set up a table because I'm going to use the tablet method. The table is going to be set up like this with four columns. The first column is the sign, and then the second column is the differentiation column. This is actually the U column. And then this column right here is the integration column. That's the DV column. And then there is the note column here. The note column is for keeping track of what the, in, uh, what the uh, integral is, the integral of VDU is. And so um, this column is actually important because that actually will tell us when we can stop when we are doing the integration by part. So we are not just going on. I mean, we are not just um, going down the columns uh, without knowing what's going on, right? So it's actually uh, really helpful as you, you will see in this problem. Okay, so we are going to start by uh, putting the plus sign right here because that's the, that's the uh, plus sign first, and then we have a minus, and then the plus, and so on, because this integral, this original integral right here, it doesn't have a negative sign, right? So we're going to put a plus sign right here. But even if it has a negative sign, we can factor it outside the integral, then we can still put a plus sign right here. So we are going to alternate the signs. The first one, uh, in general, we can always just put a plus right here. Okay, so now what about the D column here? We are going to choose our function here. Um, for this particular type of problem, when there is a product of exponential function and a trick function, um, you actually don't really need to worry too much about which one that you choose. Um, you can actually choose the D column to be the exponential function, or you can choose that to be the trick function. It's, it's really just up to you. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to let u be the e to the negative 2x, right? So we don't need to think too much for this one. And then what about the, um, the, the integration column, the dv column? It's the sine of 3x. Oops, so I got to use the same color for that one, All right? So we have the sine of 3x, okay? So now if we multiply all this together, we are going to be getting that original integral, which is e to the negative 2x and then sine of 3x and then dx. See that that's just the original integral. Okay, now let's go down the table. Then we are going to be getting differentiate. So we are going to be getting negative 2 e to the negative 2x. Right, that's due to the chain rule. We have the negative two in the front. And then here we are going to integrate. So if we integrate, then we are going to be getting negative one over three cosine of three X. Okay, so now um, we can actually multiply all this together. Then we are actually getting negative integral, right? Why there is that minus sign right here? Because there is a one minus, another minus, another minus, right? There are three minus signs. So we are going to get a minus sign here. And then we are going to be getting two over three e to the negative two x cosine of three x and then dx. But as you can see that that's a different integral here. That's also in the same form as this one. It's a product of uh, an exponential function and a trick function. So now let's do it one more time. This is the first time that we are doing it, right? So we do it one more time here and see what's going on. So if we do it one more time, then we are going to be getting positive 4e to the negative 2x. 
and then we integrate we integrate this one then we are going to be getting um negative one over nine right and then sine of three x okay so let's look at the this integral here we are getting this is going to be positive times negative is negative right negative integral of 4 over 9 and then e to the negative 2x sine of 3x and then dx and do you see that um, if we move this 4 over 9 outside the integral then you can actually see that it looks like this And don't you see that this is exactly the same integral that we have before, right? <clears throat> so uh, you can give this integral a name or you can just work directly with this integral. It's really up to you. It doesn't really matter here. Um, we can actually just give it a name and we can call it, um, I usually just call it W, right? Or you can just treat it as a function, right? W of X up to you but we can just um, just call that w of x then what's going on here now going back to writing down the answer from this remember that we set up the table to come up with an answer for this one right for this integral here so what's really happening is that we have w of x and actually let's just keep it as w for now so that the x does not get in the way so we get w is equal to remember that w is really just the original integral that we are trying to find and that's equal to what that's equal to now we gotta go we gotta write down the answer like this because it's the uv and the uv and and um and then also the integral of v to u right so we gotta put them all together so the way that we do it is this positive 1 times e to the negative 2x times negative 1 over 3 cosine 3x and that's our first term so we are going to put that here so it's going to look like what it's going to look like this negative 1 over 3 okay and then e to the negative 2x and then the cosine 3x is that okay so far so good <clears throat> And then now the second term, second term is negative one times negative two e to the negative two x and then times negative one over nine sine of three x. So we are going to put that. So it would be a minus sign, right? It would be a minus sign. Why there is a minus sign? Because there are one, two, and three, three, and odd number of negative signs, right? So we are going to get a minus. And then it's going to be two over nine, right? So it would be two over nine. 2 over 9, okay, and then that e to the negative 2x, and then we have the sine of 3x, okay, and then also, um, we don't need to worry about those integrals here, all we need to do is to write this one right here, so it's going to look like negative 4 over 9, and then the integral, of e to the negative 2x sine of 3x and then dx. So now, but you know that, but you really just know that, that this integral is our original integral, which is w. So the whole equation actually becomes w equals negative one over three e to the negative 2x cosine of 3x minus 2 over 9 e to the negative 2x sine of 3x and then minus 4 over 9 and then the w you see what's going on here <clears throat> there was a w in here so that <clears throat> what we can do is that we can move this turn to the left side of the equation it's really because what we are finding is really just this w so if we add the 4 over 9 to this side, then we are going to be getting 13 over 9 W. 
and that's equal to negative 1 over 3e to the negative 2x cosine 3x minus 2 over 9e to the negative 2x sine of 3x right And then now what? Then all we need to do is to multiply everything by the reciprocal of 13 over 9, which is 9 over 13. So we are going to be getting w is equal to negative uh, 1 over 3 e to the negative 2x cosine of 3x. And then times what? 9 over 13 minus. Okay, so this is the number that we are multiplying, right? So let's just put that. 9 over 13, okay, and then minus 2 over 9, e to the negative 2x, sine of 3x, and then times also the 9 over 13. And then there was also the constant of integration that we're going to put here, as you can see. So we're going to put the plus c right here. And so w is going to be, finally, we are going to, um, we can also do a little bit of simplifying right here. So we have the 3 is gone, and then the 9 becomes a 3. So our answer becomes negative 3 over 13, e to the negative 2x, cosine of 3x. And then... Also do some canceling here. The 9 and the 9 will get canceled. So we are going to be getting negative 2 over 13 e to the negative 2x sine of 3x and then plus the c. And so I just want to just point out one more thing here is that the reason for why we are doing integration by parts twice, right? This is the first time. This is the second time is that when you do it twice, then you are going to get back to the original integral. Okay, so when you get back to the original integral, then you can call that w because we call the original integral w. So from here, even though we are not able to be um, to integrate this directly, right? What we can do is that that integral is equal to all the stuff minus four over nine times the original integral. So all we need to do is to solve for w so that you can actually get the answer for w, which is this function right here. Okay. So if you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos to others. It will give me support and make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you.